Hello and welcome to another Mod Spotlight. I'm Cat Trans Gamer, and today I'm here to talk to you about the Pecan Biga Mega Mam Mammote. It's a uh, mixed food ration or a power food, depending on how you want to do it. Mixed ration or power food uh, mixer, and it's found in the animals. And it's just like the uh, Silo King, the Trailed Line Duo 1814, but it's a lot bigger. This one holds 64,000 liters, where if you notice, this one holds 16,000 liters on both of them. This one holds a lot more. Now, this one's going to set you back a lot more money. It's 168,000 uh, dollars, euros, um, pounds, depending on which currency you subscribe to for the game, or you prefer. It requires 240 horsepower, and it's going to cost you $130 a day. Now, this thing is fairly big. To give you an idea, that is... The Silo King Compact 1612 right next to it. Look at the size of that thing. Or how about the smaller version of itself. The Silo King Duel 1814 right next to it. It is a fairly large piece of equipment. Or over here, I decided, what's it look like on the biggest tractor in the game right now? The Challenger. MT-975E. This thing has quite a few, as you can see, I'll hop in here and look down on it. It has four mixing blades in it for making your power food. This is for feeding your cows. Now you're wondering, okay, well, what's the ratio we got to put in this thing? Well, the ratio for this thing is still the same. I mean, if you look at it. Let me turn on the help window here. If you see the mixed ratio, it's still prefer, you know, more hay and silage than um, straw. You're only looking for about 30% straw, 33% straw. So what I would do is easy math. I set up these bells here to do this. And what you want to do is you want to grab yourself about four bales worth of straw so as you can see we've got 16,000 liters of straw that's what you want to put in this thing okay now your hay you want to do at least 16,000 liters of hay or up to 32,000 liters of hay so I just put 16,000 liters of hay in. So now we're 50% hay, 50% straw at 32,000 liters. Then you're going to want to fill this up with silage. And it's going to take quite a bit of silage to sit there and fill this thing up the rest of the way. But either way you're looking for is uh, when it comes to the silage or the hay, you got to have one of them has at least 16,000 liters. And you only put 16,000 liters of straw in this thing. And you'll have a perfect perfect mixed ratio. Now, you could fill this up with, you know, 20,000 liters of uh, hay and then fill the rest up with silage. As long as you put that initial 16,000 liters of straw in there, it will turn out to be a perfect mix every time. But what you're doing is while you're filling this thing up, you're watching your mix ratio over there. And you see how now the silage and the hay is at green, but the straw is still red. You want to keep filling this up until that straw turns green too. All right, we got 32,000 liters of silage. We have 16,000 liters of hay and 16,000 liters of straw. And you see how all of it's green. Now, if you're wondering, are you ever going to need something this big? Well... If you look here, I've got 100 cows owned right now. 
and I need, I've got, you know, silage is, or power food supposed to be 30%. Base food of silage is 50%. Well, if you look, I've got silage of over 100,000 silage or hay in there. And it's almost filled up. So let's see, I've got 4,535 liters of power food in there already. Let's see what happens when I dump this in there. And I'll also show you what it looks like when it empties. Okay. So let's unload. And if you notice, it's got two doors it unloads from. So it can kind of dump a little bit faster. But as you see, as I'm unloading this, look how fast the power, fill, power food is filling up. And you notice it's filling up the silage too. The reason it's filling up silage is because um, you have power food has silage in it when you do a perfect mix ration. So that's why it's filling up the silage at the same time. It is one of the downsides to the power food, but that's also why I would put base food. Now look at that. I've emptied it out in there. And it used up all the silage that was in the uh, power food and fi finished filling up the silage hay base food. But even then, I dropped another 16,000, actually, what, a lot more than that, we ended up with uh, 24,000 more liters of uh, power food, and it's not even half full. So yeah, I would, when you get up to this point where you've got a lot of cows, I can see this thing being useful. And another nice use of this thing is if you fill it completely up with straw, you can unload it straight in here, and you'll fill up your straw portion or your bedding. So there, we've hit the max capacity, but look at that. It's a quicker way to fill your cows up with bedding using this thing rather than using the actual um, the con primor 15070 so this thing has multi functions the big you know it has multiple functions for it it does take quite a bit of power to use And I do like a lot, I mean, they did a really good job on the decals on this thing. I kind of like the cartoon cow at the end there. But as you can see, this thing is fairly large. Even has its own little coolant fan right there. Can't get up on top of the ladder, though. So yeah, the Pecan Biga Maga Mammoth. I would highly recommend this for any uh, farm that's planning to do cow f cows. Because this is just, you know, a must-needed piece of equipment. Especially if, if you're doing the power food, because you'll, you'll get in the habit of using this thing or the other Silo King, and having to do multiple trips in it just to finish filling this thing up with uh, enough silage for the cows to feed off of for, or enough power food for these cows to feed off of for six days. Where that thing, you can, you can do it in one or two trips, depending on how many cows you have. You can load it up using bales, or you can use a conveyor system, or even use the wheel loader to fill this thing up. 
Well, if you like this, uh, please give it a thumbs up and uh, drop a comment if you have a question or anything. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and you know you can join my my PlayStation community. Uh, just look for my name on the PlayStation. Till next time. Bye.